Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. So this is the frequency response design via gain compensator topic. So gain compensator for frequency response design is the simplest technique of all compensators uh, compared to lag compensator, lead compensator and lag lead compensator in the frequency response. So in this gain adjustment, uh, we adjust the system K, the system gain K, so that the gain and phase margin values will also adjust it accordingly. Therefore, the desired system trajectory response, let's say for required phase and also the stability can be achieved with gain adjustment. So there are four steps in this gain compensator or gain adjustment. So the first one, we need to draw the magnitude and phase plots of uh, at a convenient value of gain. So this is magnitude plot, this is phase plot. So for example, this is the open loop transfer function given in the equation with k equal to 3.6. So the original transfer function is k multiplied with 100 divided by all these three poles at origin, pole at negative 36 and pole at negative 100. So first step, in order to draw the magnitude and phase plot, we need to convert this open loop transfer function in S domain into frequency domain by replacing S with J omega. And then we need to rearrange this transfer function into this format and then only we can construct the board table and based on the board table, we can start plotting the magnitude and phase plot from this transfer function. Okay, second step, okay, based on the board plot, uh, magnitude and phase plot, we need to determine the desired phase margin. Given in the question is 9.5% of overshoot. So based on these two formulas, to determine the damping ratio from percent of overshoot and to determine the required phase from this damping ratio value, we determine these two values. So from the calculation, the damping ratio is 0.6 and using this 0.6 value of damping ratio, we determine the required phase, 59.2 degree. This is the required phase. Okay. So in step 3, this is the phase margin that we need uh, to determine based on this uh, equation negative 180 degree plus phase required phase 59.2 and now we have the phase margin desired phase margin is negative 120.8 and now we locate this negative 120.8 from the phase plot we need to find what is the frequency at this phase negative 120.8 so this is your 5m 120.8 from 180 Okay, so this is uh, this is why the formula is like this, negative 180 plus required phase. So this is negative 180. So this is your 5M, 120.8. At this point, determine the frequency. So in my case, from my phase plot, my frequency is 13.8 radian per second at negative 120.8 degree. Now, at the same frequency, Locate this frequency 13.8 radian per second from magnitude plot. Find the magnitude. So at this frequency, I go to magnitude plot and I determine what is the value of magnitude in dB decibel. So in my case, my magnitude is negative 43.8. Now, in step 4, the last one, determine the increment or decrement in gain required to obtain the desired phase margin 5M at 5m frequency so now this is the formula for this one 20 log k prime k prime is the new gain k after we adjust the gain based on the required phase and new phase margin or desired phase margin so we label as k prime instead of 20 log k so using this value and using this formula negative magnitude of the phase margin desired phase margin so negative 43.8 so we have 
positive 43.8 here equal to 20 log k prime now we have the value of k prime is 154.9 so this is how to determine the new gain so we have new gain k equal to 3.6 k prime 3.6 is the original k original gain before the gain adjustment after the gain adjustment we need to multiply with the k prime okay so the new gain k is 50 557.64 instead of the old gain 6 so now we have new transfer function this is our new gain k multiply with the original transfer function multiply with 100 divide by these three poles we have this one as our new transfer function after gain adjustment by maintain uh, the required overshoot percent of overshoot 9.5% with the required phase 59.2 degree. That's all for frequency response design via gain compensator or gain adjustment. Thank you very much.